Tonight, American Native tribes are across the state, including right here in Hampton Roads, are getting something they've wanted for a long time. President Trump signed a bill into law granting them federal recognition. Robert Boyd tells us this gives them access to much needed federal funds. Well, I'm in the home of the chief of the Nanziman tribe, and I'm holding his staff, which has six feathers on it, each one representing one of the Virginia Indian tribes that was federally recognized on Monday. Yeah, I think this is a salmon's rattle. Chief Lee Lockamy of the Nansman tribe loves showing off Native American artifacts found right here in Hampton Roads dating back to the 1600s. Artifacts don't grow on trees either, so you got to go out and find this stuff or be lucky enough to have some family that had some and it's passed down to you. This week, the Nansman tribe was among six tribes in Virginia to be federally recognized. Lockamy was on the floor of the Senate when the bill was passed something he's been waiting for for 20 years. It was pretty emotional. Um, in my lifetime, I've seen this go up and down, up and down, and almost go through the last couple years. And, you know, it's heartbreaking sometimes. You get your all set on it. The law gives the tribes access to federal funds for health care, housing, and education. It doesn't pay to be an Indian. <laughs> it's very expensive and a lot of time. The Nansman tribe, which is made up of more than 300 members in Hampton Roads, already has a blueprint for how they plan to use the grant money. We want to build a bigger tribal museum. Um, we have the Boy Scouts that come out there on the lands and camp, and this year we're going to have some Girl Scouts come out also. But we need to have a lot of the kids in the tribes and all the tribes try to be historians. Historians are what tell the story. In Virginia Beach, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.